welcome family welcome back to another message today awareness is important and it's crucial to walk with our eyes open a lot of things are happening and because you cannot see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist so i am here to share on evil watchers that can be watching over your life monitoring spirits are all the time there watching your progress and we'll continue to talk about it you will not walk aimlessly you will know what to do at the right time your spiritual walk with the lord is spiritual so you should know that every spirit of darkness is against you because you belong to the kingdom of light and light and darkness cannot be together so it's always in opposition the enemy is always opposing what god has planned for your life and now because you cannot see in the physical you might even relax and thinking nothing wrong is going on we are not dwelling only on the negative but it is important to know that the enemy doesn't sleep the enemy is a busy body and the moment that you understand that your life as a child of god is about warfare all the time you can rest you can praise, you can worship, but spiritual warfare will be always there. I want you to know that spiritual warfare is a game changer because when you are stuck, when you're feeling like nothing is moving, you can enter into that era or season of spiritual warfare and things will start to move. Things will start to change because spiritual warfare and the prayer points that we declare, those are declarations. Those are words that govern the spiritual realm. So whether you are going against the enemy or you are praising the Lord and affirming, confirming what Jesus has already done, that is working for you. So in the previous videos, I've been talking a lot about prayerlessness, defeating that spirit. When you read the word of God more and you pray more, certain things just don't come your way. And this is what I'm going to talk about here. I will talk about signs that monitoring spirits have surrounded your life. You might say that is not me, God forbid. But if you don't do anything about it, the enemy will surround you. And that can be in the physical, surrounded by people that are not there for you. You think they are there for you and yet they are not. They are just maybe there sent by the enemy as agents. And if you don't pray, if you don't do spiritual warfare, you'll be entertaining them. You will be entertaining your enemies. It's only by prayer that these people can be exposed. They will start to expose themselves. The enemy will start to expose himself through those people. And you will come to know. So this is not the time to just think you are a Christian, born again Christian, spirit filled, justified by the blood of Jesus, and the enemy will let you alone. No, the enemy is after you even more because now, you are becoming fruitful. You are a fruitful land. You know where you are going. You know who your God is. And this enemy is in opposition to whatever God is doing in your life. Spiritual warfare is a game changer. It has changed my life. I love it so much. In the beginning, it was like struggling and struggling. I'm praying all the time. And even on holiday, I have to pray all the time. I enjoy it because I know that I enjoy the peace. When I wake up, it's only no more challenges that I know that God has already made a way for me. Some challenges are normal. Some are not. And if you do not pray the right way, you'll find yourself dealing with one issue forever. And that is stagnation. That is delay. Because your destiny must move forward. If promotion in that season is yours, let that promotion come. Let me tell you the first sign that will let you know that the enemy has surrounded you. He has used people, maybe he's using spiritual weapons to surround your life. Monitoring your life even in the physical because people will come that you cannot believe they can do something like that. They will be around you in that season. And if you're around people that do not even pray, the enemy will find them weak to use them against you. So the enemy will find someone very close or will be attacking you through dreams. And if you are not praying right, you will find yourself surrounded by disappointments, experiencing delay. Everything you do does not work. This is a sign that you have been surrounded by these evil watchers. They are watching your life everywhere you go. And many times I've spoken about this. You can be sharing your life with these people that are very close to you and not knowing that the enemy is using them against you. So if you are experiencing delay when you pray and pray and pray 
something just happens suddenly that good news is not coming who has cancelled that good news because that's what it means if that good news doesn't come your way out of all the clients that were hoping that they will give you the business no one of them it's only disappointments maybe you're expecting good news at work from school or good news concerning that issue and you just find things are not working it's only disappointments the enemy has surrounded you who is giving these people or these entities that information and sometimes you'll be like i don't talk to people i, I didn't tell anyone about this I've kept it to myself. Why is that happening? They are watching you in the spiritual realm. They are watching your life, your every move in the spiritual realm. They don't have to use a physical person. And that's why you find prayer points that talk about blinding the enemies. Because it is written in the Bible that when King Jehoshaphat and his people overcame because God blinded them. Why do you think that they started to fight each other? They became blind. It wasn't the physical blindness. But probably there was confusion in them and they started to fight each other. They forgot what was the right thing to do for themselves to advance their lives. In the case of Elisha, the enemies were blinded until they were moved to a different place and left there. So when we read the Bible, we're reading the word of God for ourselves so that when you are given prayer points when someone takes time to write those prayer points because they have taken time to read the word of god you are not going to be questioning the word of god you are not going to say hey these prayer points are so hard to read them they are so difficult they are so long they are so this you know that that is the word of god and when you declare the word of god that situation must crumble in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When you say, Lord, send blindness to every monitoring spirit that is monitoring my life for evil, any power anywhere, any evil watcher watching my life, watching my business, my children, watching my every move to destroy me, I send the spirit of blindness into their camp. They will be blinded spiritually that they won't know what they'll be doing and they won't be agreeing concerning your case because they are now blinded. They cannot plan well. When you are confused, you cannot focus on anything. Instead of doing number one, you are doing number five. So it's very important to do spiritual warfare. It's very important when you see things are not working to stand and pray. Do not be lazy. The enemy is looking for those who are lazy. If he finds you that you are weak, you are not praying enough, you are not even reading the word of God enough, he will have access to you. The only thing that can stop them is prayer and the blood of Jesus, the word of God, the spirit of God, the arm of the most high God, not by the arm of flesh. Not your job now is to observe your dreams. Oh, my dream is this. Oh, I saw someone in my dreams. And what are you doing about it? Even if you see it, what are you doing about it? Are you praying more? Because remember, we say this battle is not mine. It is the Lord's and you go and sleep. Do you know what that means? It means that you have to be on that battlefield. You give the battle to the Lord in prayer and the Lord takes it up and fights for you. Not where you are just a lazy Christian, just watching for who should pray for you and doing nothing, not searching scriptures for yourself. The next sign is through dreams. When you see that your dreams are just nightmares or you see personalities in those dreams. Personalities are those watchers. They are those evil watchers. Sometimes it can be someone in your family, but many times the enemy will take the faces of those who are weak in your family. Those who do not pray. He will take their faces. He will use their faces. The enemy cannot come and use your face because you pray. So sometimes you have to be gracious when you see these faces in the dream and you'll be like, ah, this word maybe the enemy has just used this face this is not my real enemy the one behind this face and this person might just be weak spiritually many times they can be involved so it's your job to pray when you pray prayer will do everything for you prayer is everything in one whatever you need there it is you have it because when you pray you pray not knowing what to pray, but the Holy Spirit helping you to pray. You start to pray right. You pray the word of God and the Lord will do his work. So when you see these personalities, just know that the enemy is surrounding you. The enemy is watching you. And sometimes it can be animals. You know that evil watchers are surrounding you. Many times it's all these dead 
people they will use dead images of your relatives and after that things are just crumbling down delay delay because that's what the enemy wants he doesn't want your destiny to go forward he doesn't want you to fulfill your purpose here on earth i want you to look at the word of god here in psalm chapter 68 verse 1 let the lord arise and his enemies be scattered you have to pray for all those entities to scatter catch fire and burn to ashes yes you have the right to ask the lord to release his fire and consume all these entities let all those personalities that appear in the dreams be consumed by the fire of god because the intention is not good if any dead person appears in your dream pray that that evil spirit goes back to the pit of hell goes back to the grave in the mighty name of jesus christ do not sit and watch pray and watch do not just sit and sleep watch and pray because these are things that bring delay backwardness stagnation you'll be just fighting these things you have to be consistent even if you don't see any change continue to pray god is doing something and eventually you'll find that your life has gone higher and higher because that's what we do we rank higher and higher in the realm of the spirit we pray more we read the word of god more and the enemy cannot catch up with us that's what you do so you up your game and you look at your life you check it and you say i'm experiencing this what is it that i can do you run to the word of god that is running to god there and you'll be safe thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being part of this family i hope this has been helpful and if you are here for the first time and you haven't subscribed yet take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of jesus christ continue commenting share your testimonies watch other videos that i recommend at the end of this video stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye for now